Hello curious minds, have you ever gazed up at the night sky and wondered why it's dark? Now that might seem like a simple question, but it's one that leads us right into one of the most intriguing cosmic conundrums, the paradox of the infinite universe. Let's start with a basic understanding of this paradox. It's often called Olber's paradox, named after the German astronomer Heinrich Wilhelm Olbers, who popularized it in the 19th century. The paradox goes something like this. If the universe is infinite and filled with stars then every line of sight from Earth should eventually hit a star. That means, instead of darkness, the night sky should be ablaze with starlight. But as we all know, that's not the case. So why is this so? Think of it this way. If you're in a forest that stretches infinitely in all directions, every line of sight would end on a tree, right? You wouldn't see any gaps, just an endless wall of tree trunks. By the same logic, if the universe is infinite, every line of sight should end on a star, and the sky should be ablaze with light. But instead, when we look up at the sky we see a lot of darkness punctuated by points of light. This contradiction between our expectation and observation is the core of the paradox. So, it's clear that something about our assumptions must be wrong. Is the universe not infinite? Are there not enough stars? Is something obstructing the light? Or perhaps the light from distant stars hasn't reached us yet? These are the questions that have puzzled astronomers and physicists for centuries. The paradox prompts us to re-evaluate our understanding of the universe to question the nature of space, time and light. It's a mystery that sits at the very heart of cosmology and astrophysics. So, the question remains, why is the sky dark at night if there are an infinite number of stars? Now that we understand the paradox, let's delve deeper into the factors and considerations that come into play. First, let's consider the finite speed of light. This might seem like a simple concept, but it has profound implications when it comes to the paradox of the infinite universe. You see, light doesn't travel instantaneously. It takes time. In fact, it takes approximately 8 minutes and 20 seconds for light to travel from the sun to the earth. Now apply this concept to the vast reaches of the universe. When we gaze out into the cosmos, we're not just looking across space, but also back in time. The further we look, the further back in time we see. This means we can only see as far as the light from distant objects has had time to reach us. Next, let's talk about the age of the universe. Current estimates put the age of the universe at around 13.8 billion years. This limits the amount of the universe we can observe. Even if the universe were infinite, we could only see a finite part of it, a region known as the observable universe. Now, on to the expansion of the universe. Yes, you heard that right. The universe is expanding, and not just expanding, but accelerating in its expansion. This is due to a mysterious force known as dark energy. This expansion means that some regions of the universe are moving away from us faster than the speed of light. So, even though their light was emitted billions of years ago, it will never reach us. This further limits the number of stars we can see, contributing to the darkness of the night sky. These factors and considerations shed some light on our paradox, but the mystery remains. This is the beauty of science. It offers us answers, but also reminds us of how much there is left to discover. So, let's keep asking questions and exploring the cosmos, because who knows what we might find. So, with these factors in mind, what is our current understanding of the paradox? Well, there are several theories that aim to explain this cosmic enigma. The leading theory tells us that the universe isn't infinitely old. This means we can only perceive the light from stars that has had enough time to reach us. If a star is too far away, its light hasn't had the chance to make the journey to our little blue planet. In addition to this, the universe is constantly expanding. This expansion results in many stars moving away from us. As they move, their light is stretched or in scientific terms, redshifted. This redshift pushes the light into the infrared and microwave spectrum, which is beyond the capacity of our eyes to perceive. So, although there may be an infinite number of stars out there, we can't see them all. While this theory provides some answers, it also leads us to even more questions. As we wrap up, let's ponder on the profound implications of this paradox. The universe in all its infinite glory is a place of endless mystery and intrigue. This paradox forces us to confront our understanding of the cosmos, challenging the very fabric of what we know to be true. It asks us to question, to probe, and to ponder. 
It is a stark reminder that we are but small specks in the grandeur of the cosmos, always learning, always growing. It pushes us to keep exploring, to keep seeking answers, and to never stop asking questions. The universe is a vast, endless pool of questions waiting to be asked. The paradox of the infinite universe is just one of these questions, a mystery that continues to baffle and amaze us. Now that we've explored the paradox of the infinite universe together, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What aspect of this paradox resonated with you the most? Do you have any alternative theories or ideas on how to approach this intriguing cosmic mystery? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And remember, your like, share, and subscribe helps a lot. Thanks for watching.